Welcome, and from me is a Realme C15 and today I'll show you how to transfer files from the device to an SD card and vice versa. Now to get started we will need to open up the files app which is located in the Google folder right over here. Let's continue here and allow whatever it requires. And when you launch it you should see your storage devices right here with the internal and whatever the name here is that signifies the SD card. Uh, now if you don't see anything here, simply tap on the three dots and tap on show storage devices where for me it's hide storage devices. And from here let's go to the internal storage of the device and we have a bunch of folders as you can see. Now the, probably the most important ones are things like the DCIM which uh, is where my files are located that I will, I will use as an example. And and here you'll find pictures, videos that you have captured with the device itself along with screenshots. Then below that we have downloads folder which will contain anything that you have well downloaded. Uh, that'd be either through a web browser, email, anywhere where you have downloaded stuff it will be located in here. And below that we have a bunch of other folders like market, music, movies, uh, mu uh, notifications, pictures, podcasts, ringtones. Those folders are usually just empty, assuming you have not placed there something yourself. Uh, so the most important ones are the DCIM downloads folder. And yeah, so let's find our fi uh, files, which like I said, mine are right over here. And you want to select them. Now there's a couple different ways you can select it. You can either select a single file by holding it and then add additional ones if you want to move or copy uh, multiple. If you want to move, for instance, an entire folder full of photos as a backup method, you can simply select that folder itself along with all of its content like this. And whichever way you do it, it's completely up to your preference. But once you have selected uh, what you want, tap on the three dots and you'll have the two options, either move or copy to. Now whichever way you choose, again, it's completely up to you. Move will completely remove those files from where they are right now and move them to any location of your choice. While copy will just create also additional set of those files. So the original ones will stay where they are and the new ones will be moved to the choice uh, or your place of desire that you want to move them to. So I'm gonna go with move right here. And when you select either one of them, it will bring up this window where you can select if you want to move it somewhere on the phone itself or to the SD card. I'm gonna go with the SD card and again we have basically the same uh, folder structure on here as well. Uh, phone usually creates it on the SD card the same thing as it does on itself so that's why it looks identical basically. Uh, but the key difference is if we go into the DCIM you can see that there's only camera folder, no screenshots and in that camera folder there is nothing here. So not, we can just simply move it here as an example, tap, move here, continue. Uh, we need to allow access by the first time, so let's allow. And there we go, it starts moving. And from here, once it's finished, you can back out and see that if we go back to the internal storage under the DCIM, this is empty and this is empty. That's because I chose to move it. And if we go to the SD card, DCIM, camera, you can see that there's two more folders, camera with the four photos and screenshots with five photos. So. This method works for any kind of file, not just pictures or folders. Uh, it's the exact same method for anything that you want to move. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.